we're here with the legendary Martin Keown <laughs> at Wembley Stadium. We meet again. You do. It's very early on a Sunday morning. Yeah, very early. We've just been listening to the uh, the guys rehearsing all the songs for later. It's been beautiful. The sun's yeah. come out. Perfect day. time. Hopefully, perfect result at the end of the day. I hope so, and I'm, I'm hoping that um, Arsene Wenger's team show the same fight that they showed in the FA Cup because yeah. they were like street fighters that day. And I think it's an, an opportunity to show your teeth a little bit, mm -hmm. to show that you know you might be the real deal this year. You know, there's the Europa Cup to, to think about, yeah. uh, players that haven't signed contracts, but you know, what you've got to do is try and win the Premier League. Exactly. And Arsene Wenger now has signed a new two-year deal. He's made it very clear he wants everybody to stay. He, you know, for 50% of that time, Sanchez and Urs will look like they're going to be here. So yeah. the best possible players around him and go for it and let's see what happens. So what are your thoughts on the new squad at the moment, especially the new additions to the team? Um, yeah, I, I think uh, Lagazette is, is a, it looks to me the real deal. Mm -hmm. He's quick, strong, scores goals for fun. Uh, can he do what Thierry Henry did? That would be special. Questionable. He's, uh, maybe close to that. Um, Danny Welbeck, I thought, played magnificently well in the cup final. Yeah. So be interesting to see how Wenger pops him in and around that system and Giroud as well. You've got to have as many players as possible really to yeah. fighting for their positions in, within the group to keep it really healthy. And options for the manager, so that's that's useful. We've got a new signing at, at left back yeah. that you can pronounce the name of. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Kolsinak. Kolsinak, well Kolsinak, done. Well yes. done. <laughs> he looks as if he's pretty decent. He played well in the Emirates Cup. Yeah, so definitely. one or two players that have come in, I would have maybe liked to have seen a midfield player come in. Uh, but Jack Wilsh has come back into the fray, so hopefully, uh, hopefully he'll be fit and, yeah. and he can, I bet he fancies his chances of playing in it. If you could, I'm going to throw a question out there now. If you could pick any player, more than one, you could pick up to three in this current squad to play in your squad, who would it be? Who would I pick? Cool. Interesting, isn't it? Uh, well, I suppose Sanchez would yeah. probably have, um, have maybe crept in. Um, you know, uh, but with he'd have had trouble getting in the tar in the side if you think about Reyes, yeah, that's true. Um, and Perez, and all these guys, Lundberg. Top dogs. They were pretty decent. So pretty Sanchez, decent. San <laughs> Sanchez has got. He, I, he's for me, he ticks lots of boxes because he's tenacious. Uh, okay, a couple of times last year, I was a bit embarrassed. He was falling over for no reason yeah. and he got caught up in things. But he's the sort of little big man. He wants to fight people and. And prove and let's if he wants to prove that he's good enough to go elsewhere let him do that but in an Arsenal shirt and we mm. get the profit and the benefit of that and maybe a trophy to, to boot yeah let's not talk about him leaving anytime soon let's hope that, that, <laughs> topic, that topic never comes up yeah, again because yeah. we're all bored it's a bit like the Wenger story now let's, yeah. let's, let's put that to one side as a exactly. Arsenal people and you know, Arsenal fans have been, for me, magnificent over the years. Last year was very split. It was a difficult yeah. environment for the players. Let's give no excuse to, to the players this year and get behind Arsene Wenger for the next two seasons. Yeah, we have to. The contract's signed now, so that's the best thing we can do. That's right, but, you know, I think there's a, an unhealthy feeling, you know, going to grounds, getting off the bus. Uh, it's, you, players sense that. You've got to get behind the team uh, and behind the manager, and that's certainly how it was for us. It was You go in a unified group, players, supporters, and that will count a lot for us on this season to get that kind of environment. Yeah, so we're here at the FA Community Shield, supported by McDonald's, and the big... We've got the two new signers on both teams, Lacazette versus Morata. What are your thoughts on those two? Well, I think Arsenal have done the better business. Morata is, um, was a reserve player at, at Real Madrid, really. Obviously, a top quality player. There's no shame in that at Real Madrid. But, you know, if Costa's not going to make it this season, I, I, I'd be quite happy if, as a defender, I didn't have to play against him. Because yeah. he was, um, whatever you say about him, he's an outstanding striker. They can't be better without him, Chelsea. Hazard as well, not uh, available for the start of the season. Chelsea are under real pressure. John Terry coming out of the dressing room, the sort of guidance in, you know, from the players. Uh, don't underestimate that as well. So Chelsea uh, under a little bit of pressure. Um, Arsenal might just be able to take advantage of that. Man City for me looked really, really tasty with the yeah, signings they made. Yeah. An awful lot of players have left the football club, by yeah. the way. People talking about what's come in, but he's really done a clear out there. 
uh, and they will be very well fancied. Manchester United, Tottenham. It, it's difficult to pick a top four. Oh, Never I was mind. just going to ask you that. Who well, you can't you ask me that. You, oh, it's, it is I tough. haven't done the maths yet. I need a computer. I need to all the <laughs> process all this information into yeah. a computer. Stats. Um, Arsene Wenger has asked the, uh, the, the pundits to really do it with proper analysis. So let's go away. Let's, let's put it all together. Put it in a computer and see who comes out <laughs> in the top four. Uh, Tottenham haven't uh, strengthened in the summer, really. Um, but they could be the bridesmaids once more. Maybe. It could, be, it could be that it's, um, it's been Leicester for them. It's been Chelsea. It could be Man City and Tottenham second. So lots to think about for them. The Champions League playing at Wembley. Here we are now. Yeah. So Liverpool as well back in the mix. Yeah, it's really um, it's a mouthwatering season. It gets yeah, better, wait, and our yeah. Premier League gets stronger every year. Yeah, I can't wait for it. Although we can't decide who we can put in our top four, what are your predictions for today's game? I think Arsenal will win this today. Yeah. Um, and if they don't, I think Wenger will be disappointed. Sir Alex Ferguson always used to say when we beat them that this game was really just a just rehearsal. It didn't matter. Whenever they beat us, he would say that, look, my team's firing on all cylinders. We're going to really go for it this yeah. year. But reality is, it doesn't. This doesn't really matter. It's nice for the photograph, an extra trophy, yeah. just to complete the set. They've won the FA Cup alongside the uh, this trophy as well. So no, Wenger is still getting developing players, getting fit. Next weekend, uh, Leicester, I believe, first match of the season. That's when it matters most. So make sure you're ready. Yes, I will be ready. You ready?